What about for New South Wales? You, you never want to change a, a winning team, but there's news that Tom Trebojevic, uh, he's going to be returning for Manly. No, Does he no get changes. a look in at all? If, if they're all fit, the seven only got the job done down in Melbourne play. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. There's talk about Nathan coming back. Once again, he's, he's one of the best players in the world, but he's underdone, and you've got to go with the 17 who got the job, job done. Simple as that. We spoke about this uh, in the post show. Freddie, I wanted to get your view on this. We were talking about Mitchell Moses, his man of the match performance, how impressive he was. If he goes up to Suncorps and, and picks up exactly where he left off at the MCG, going forward for New South Wales, does he have to be their number seven over Nathan? Well, his team's coming last at the moment. So there's... there's Look at the balance of Mitchell at the moment. He was fantastic up in Newcastle as well. Um, but at the moment, his team's coming last. He was incredible on Wednesday night. Um, there was no pressure in the game, like Joey said. His start to the game, their start to the game was perfect. You know, they, they actually made an error. Uh, Crichton had a flick pass where they made an error there. But outside that, his kicks were incredible. I'm talking, you know, there was one where Xavier Coates even looked behind to see if his foot was on the line and realised he was that far short. And then the kick for the try and a couple of in goal, it was, it was an incredible start. But this would just be different. This would be a game where there'll be less possession and, um, you know, this would be a much harder game to stand up to. But he played up in a game up in the Gold Coast and played with a broken back and he got a bit criticised. He scored a try, set up a try and played with a broken back. And people still criticised him. <laughs> so he's a tough kid. And he ain't going anywhere. He needs to pick up his own team. They don't need to start winning some games before he can start be claiming, um, you know, you're the first chosen for Origin. So he's got a big couple of weeks ahead of him, but also a big 12, 12 months, I reckon. Bill, before you were talking about the fact that uh, you're most likely going to be without Coates as yep. well, so there's going to be some force changes there. Do you look at um, bringing someone like David Fafita into the side? Is he a, a chance at all? Yeah, we'll look at all Queenslanders. Um, uh, like I said, that you know we saw what happened to Xavier last night, and you know the players have got to play today. Um, there's a whole round of football next week, um, but Dave Fafita has been in the conversation, you know, for every Origin, you know, even the first one. So. Um, he had a bit of a checkered start to, to the season with a, a torn pec. Um, but he's playing some great footy and you know, those conversations will happen next Sunday. Will Cam Munster be um, available? I know he's becoming available. Is he? Um, would you select him or consider it? I think he's back, back running. Um, uh, Melbourne have the bye next week, so um, he wouldn't play. I, I, I dare say that would be a big ask. Uh, a little bit like Nathan coming back, although Nathan might have a game next week. So, um, no, probably not in consideration.